the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be As we gather in the sunshine, sort of, inside, we also gather in the light of God's presence. It's good to have you here, whether in person or worshipping online. We remember the goodness of God as we say sorry for the things we do wrong. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come into word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all good and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Colleague or prayer for today, the seventh Sunday after Trinity. Generous God, you give us gifts and make them grow. Though our faith is small as mustard seed, make it grow to your glory and the flourishing of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place, all by yourselves, and rest for a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boats to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them, and they hurried there on, on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognised him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. For the word of the Lord. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> right. Hands up if you are likely to be going on holiday this summer. Hands up if you are looking forward to going on holiday this summer. You are excellent. Hands up if you think you've been working so hard that you need a rest. Because, you know, <clears throat> work is really important. Hard work is really important. 
Yesterday, I was spending some time working in the garden, but I wasn't the only one. Someone else was working in the garden. I was just pottering around, digging things up, planting some plants out. Father Daniel was being very active in his garden. What were you doing in your garden yesterday, Father? I cut down a tree. How long did it take you? About four or five hours. I helped With a little saw. With a little saw. I helped <coughs> And having seen a photograph, it looks very much as if Ninja was trying to help as well. It might have been more of a hindrance, but you know, dogs sometimes don't really understand the concept of taking trees down. When you got to the end of cutting that tree down, did you feel exhausted? Pretty exhausted, but also felt happy because I could see happy. my work. Excellent. Did you feel, when you finished cutting that tree down, that you needed a rest? Yes, I did have a rest. You did have a rest? Yes. Great. You can really good answer to you. are very well done. Father Daniel worked really hard in the hot weather cutting down a tree. And he needed a rest afterwards. <coughs> Put his feet up, chill out. Can you think of anyone else who suggests that now and then we all need to have a rest? Who might suggest that we need sometimes to have a rest? Well done! <coughs> Jesus! Now, Jesus walked around just like me, just like you. There's nothing in the Gospels about Jesus cutting down trees, but he did work really hard. And even Jesus, now and then, needed just his own space, he needed to go away, to lie down, to put his head down, go to sleep and rest. And if Jesus needs to do that, if now and then Jesus needs... <laughs> Shall I do that again? <laughs> If Jesus needs to do that, to rest, to go to sleep, how much more do we need to do it as well? Now, we're gathered here today, as we do week by week, Sunday by Sunday, coming together. And actually, it is a time of rest for us, a time of renewal time <clears throat> when we can press that pause button after all the hard work of the week and rest in God. <clears throat> Sometimes when we're very small and we want to rest, we might possibly have a rest or doze off by being cuddled by mum or dad. And in a way, that's what God does with us. Jesus encourages us to come to God, to be hugged by God, and to rest with Him. So we stand now and affirm our faith in God. Brothers and sisters, do you believe and trust in God the Father, who made all things, the one in whom we exist? I believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? I believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? 
This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. <coughs> Lord, your compassion for the crowds that swamped you was ever-present. We bring before you now our brothers and sisters around the world, places where churches are being destroyed and places where many are being threatened with guns. We pray for all Christians, for all victims of prejudice here and worldwide. Lord of all righteousness and peace, we pray for a renewal of compassion and unity. Lord, you took your disciples away from the crowds to rest and find refreshment. We pray for your church today, for all clergy and lay ministers and all to whom you have given the responsibility of leadership. We ask that you help them to find or regain a healthy balance amid the rhythm of life's rushing and resting. Lord, of all righteousness and peace, we pray for a renewal of compassion and unity. We pray for the bereaved and all those who are sick, in mind, body or soul. For all those burnt out by rushing around, caring for others without giving thought for their own self-care. We pray for all those anxiously awaiting long overdue operations, and all those who are having to find new rhythms of life at this time due to suffering long COVID. Lord of all righteousness and peace, we pray for a renewal of compassion and unity. We pray to you for all in our communities who find life transitions difficult and daunting, for refugees settling into new places, young adults leaving care and forging their own life. Lord of all righteousness and peace, we pray for a renewal of compassion and unity. As restrictions lift, we pray for those preparing to go back to the workplace rather than working from home. Those who have been stressed trying to balance work amid family life in lockdown. We pray to you for all as they attempt to restore or find a new balance. Lord, of all righteousness and peace, we pray for a renewal of compassion and unity. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By one spirit, we are all baptised into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always Let us offer one another a socially distant sign of Christ's peace.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life and cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord of all life, you created the universe, where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us happy times and things to celebrate. In these we taste your kingdom, a feast for all your children. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with the saints and angels as we sing your praise, saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit, that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After they had eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with his, these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus our Savior. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now, with all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit today and forever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so in faith and love we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one body. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his Son. 
Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only to say the word, and I am so
the bottom of page three, we pray together. God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Uh, the notice is as usual on the notice sheet uh, and there are a couple on the back of the order of service as well. Um, just to draw to your attention the, uh, the ongoing thing over the summer about uh, the new 9 o'clock news section in the parish paper from uh, September onwards. Uh, ideas, thoughts, contributions uh, to Neil and Kelly, Neil being on the door over there today. Uh, or to Kelly's email address, which is printed uh, there. Um, <clears throat> also to draw to your attention the notice there regarding adult baptism. If you're not baptised um, and you'd like to talk about the possibility of baptism, do have a word with um, either of us. Restrictions uh, lift tomorrow in England. Uh, the Church of England has issued uh, guidance to uh, all of the churches across England as to how things should now proceed. And being the Church of England, um, it's been done in a very warm, fluffy, cuddly, you might want to do this, but you might want to think about doing that approach. Uh, and then chiefly saying, of course, everything is decided by the incumbent. Nice. Um, Father Daniel and I will be meeting early this week just to look at how things can begin to change and move back. One of the things that they do say, and we will be following, is that not to do absolutely everything at once. Uh, so we'll be following the advice from the government scientific officers of adopting the cautious approach. Um, obviously because we don't know how things are going to pan out. Um, and certainly uh, cases in the borough are going up. Uh, and we're now, we're now one of the highest uh, boroughs across London with cases of COVID. So we will be playing things in a cautious way, um, but we will be returning slowly to some form of normality. One of those bits of normality is the signing in for school. Um, we've been able to sort of hold back from that throughout the pandemic, but we are moving back to it with the agreement of the school um, for the next couple of, sometime in the next couple of weeks. Um, the form has been redesigned and we will ask you if you want a place at the school uh, to start signing in once again, uh, either this service or whichever service you come to. I think that those are all the notices, except to say, of course, that one of the things, this is really important, uh, one of the things that the guidelines do say we can do is to start to have refreshments again. Um, today, sir, we got very excited about that. Yes, that means biscuits after, after Mac again. I said biscuits, not prosecco. <laughs> but we might be close on that. I think that those are final all the notices. Would you please stand? The Lord be with you. Christ, who has nourished us with himself, the living bread, make you one in praise and love and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you all. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. 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 Thanks.